recording and all right we are in tampa at the tampa pro and we just finished the wrap up of prejudging and man a long prejudging i was here we went through npc and ifbb pro league and so we have four divisions to cover for the women because we're here and it's all we're about the, the women. women absolutely we got uh, uh, pro fitness first right the right. lineup was kind of short there were just uh, yes six competitors yes just six pro fitness competitors but and we haven't seen their routine yet that goes in the final so yes. we just uh, saw the two-piece presentation the physique presentation yes. and um um, we saw the physique round. By the way, uh, they were aligned on the first call out, obviously. Uh, we're having uh, Ariel, it looks like it's between Ariel Catter and, um, and Debbie. Debbie Fowler. Debbie and Fowler. also with Tara Plum in the mix. Yes. Um, I really like um, Ariel's body. She has a great conditioning and she has like a nice she has a compact like yes. a gymnastic a gymnast yes. type of body yeah so we just looked at the physique round in the fitness uh division and so based on what we saw we look we we feel that ariel and debbie definitely yeah they're the winners of the physique round so we have to go back for the finals because you know it's all about those p routines and see absolutely those how that can plays change out. a lot definitely we had the figure class masters yes. the first one over 40 yes who so did you like over there well you know what i'm going to tell you something a uh, figure the figure competitors all came in incredible shape i was really surprised because in the figure uh for the masters there were 12 women they mm -hmm. were all in great shape no one no one was out of shape and you could tell that the women with all that we've been going through with COVID, that they're really trying to um get to the olympia state now i'm not really sure in the masters division it, you don't if you win do no, you qualify for the olympia not, it doesn't you qualify. do not no, you do not so that's qualify. what lets you know the heart of these women absolutely truly. and uh, the first call out was we had uh, mm -hmm. donia jackson in the middle yes uh flanked by uh jennifer um Eritano and yes we had the um, rockwell clark on the third place mm -hmm. i think that's going to yes. be kind of like the top three yes right i think this is uh usually uh we were we noticed yesterday for the master divisions it's only the top three they're going to get an award on stage yes so uh, yeah so really in yeah. the in the master's division and figure the one that stepped on stage was absolutely the most amazing was Danya Jackson oh yeah and I feel like without question she's going to take home the first place beautiful lines beautiful great lines and Jennifer Iritano she got lucky because she almost missed the call she out did. they called they said they said scratch her so we scratched her and she showed up toward the end so I think she yeah. she was in great shape I think it's really yeah, close she would between have missed her it. yeah she could get second or Raquel Clark third second or third is really close but again ladies all of them pretty much showed up in the next division in in the open division yes in open figure pro, pro. Figure. we had 26 girls of, 26 yeah. ladies <laughs> in figure pro so what was amazing about that again is that the majority of the women in the masters i think all of them pretty much showed up maybe it was just one that did not uh compete and cross over into open yeah and it looks by uh the way they were uh positioned in the first call out that uh, we have we had latoya fairly fairly in the middle of it yes <laughs> We had um, Sandra uh, Grajales or Grajales, I think. Yes. Um, looks like second and third, and it's between her and Donia Jackson, uh, which is quite remarkable, right? We were just talking yes. about Donia Jackson in the previous, in the over 40. Yes. But an interesting thing with, is about um, Latoya Fairley being placed right now in the middle of this first call out because she was, she didn't place last year in the same show in same Tampa. Show she was 16 and then wow. for her to come and be placed in the first call out in the middle of it i think it's a great achievement and then her shape was actually really good she beautiful lines great condition yes she deserved to be lines. in the middle of that yeah, absolutely she really truly had beautiful lines yeah. she wasn't the hardest 
um, or the leanest, but um, yeah. be absolutely beautiful line. So that was a great call out. They had yeah. um, how many women? We also had uh, Raquel Clark in there again. Mm -hmm. She was, uh, we just talked about her in the Masters. And then as well as Danielle Rose, great conditioning. Mm -hmm. She's from Florida, mm -hmm. so she's local. Um, I think it was it was a great, great call out. Mm -hmm, yep. We'll see Felicia what's going to happen. Right. Livesley and uh, Sandra Grigalis, yes. I believe. Yeah, so it was a great call out. Um, amazing. Mad respect for the figure pro division. You ladies showed up. And I was looking somebody's where going to the Olympia. I was looking where uh, actually um, Tiffany Walker. Do you remember we were talking about her saying that she might be s needed to be switching to WPD? Yes. Because she was very muscular? Yes. So I'm glad you did mention yeah. that. Because, uh, the same thing with Megan Santa Barbara. Yes. Their frame is so big, you know, and then the, right now they, they, they fit in the figure class, but yes. they didn't fill out their frame yet. So yes. if they were to come to their full potential, they actually, they are athletes for WPD class. Yes, yes, they really are, yeah. The width and everything, <coughs> the way that the width of the bones mm -hmm. and the, the strength, the, the structure and the frame, I think they yeah. would, both of them would totally and be successful in switching to That's what to I'm WPD. really excited about with the... Um, with the NPC and the IFBB and how we've just grown.